What is the song? Scary Ghost Stories and it's the most Tales of wonderful the Glories. Time of year. And, yeah. We were talking about that the other day, that I don't know what the scary ghost stories are, except Scrooge. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not really sure what they are. But we were, we were talking, and I asked Anthony, who is our, uh, is our um, uh, musicologist, if you will, on the uh, program. Uh, and I asked him, I said, can you, can you take some Christmas music and make it spooky? Because I think, I think when you have kids singing, there's nothing better than kids singing Christmas carols. But it's the same tool that they use in, like, horror movies. Whenever you hear, like, the kids singing in the background, you just know something bad's going to happen. La, 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 la. So I, we tested this theory out. I said, Anthony, you have nothing else better to do. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why don't you waste an afternoon <laughs> on this stupid thing? <laughs> see, if you could, uh, uh, see if you could make Christmas carols sung by kids spooky. Let's see. Here's cut one. See, tubular bells. We told you tubular bells are really spooky or very joyous. (laughs) (laughs) In a world. Santa Claus only comes out once a year. Stop. You wish he didn't come <laughs> at all. <laughs> that totally works. It, it does. It did. It works. What's the next one? Go ahead. <laughs> this year. Sleigh bells have a whole <laughs> new meaning. Sleigh bells. What's the next one? <laughs> it's great. It really is. <laughs> it's great. It really is. Imagine improved. coming around the corner of uh-huh. like a dark alley. Yeah. And just that music started coming on. You'd I'd be, be scared. Terrified by I'd that. Be scared. But it could be snowing. I mean, this, picture the scene. Picture the scene. Uh, here comes this woman, and she's got her arms full of bags, and she's laughing and smiling. She's got rosy cheeks. She's all bundled up. She looks a little like uh, Andy. What's her name from uh, uh, from um, um, Groundhog Day? Groundhog Day. Andy McDowell. Yeah, Andy McDowell. Remember, she's just all you know. She just looks so happy and everything. She comes around a corner, and it's a dark alley, and the snow is uh, billowing and. She comes around this corner and you hear this. Dashing through the snow <laughs> in a one horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. <laughs> you would just be like, run, Andy! <laughs> run! <laughs> Don't go in the basement! Oh. Okay, okay, here's the next one. Here's the next one. Stop. Woman's all by herself. She's wearing like, uh, she's just wearing um, like a man's shirt, like a, you know, like a pinstripe shirt. And she's just, either that or like a football jersey. Mm-hmm. And just in her panties, because that's always, the, they're always like that right before they're slain. <laughs> mm-hmm. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, that's always the way. They're always the way. <laughs> And so she's like, she's like, I'm going to, um, kids, I'll be right back. I'm going to go down to the basement. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go down to the basement all by myself. She's like the babysitter. Yeah. she's a baby. yeah. And I'm just going to, I'm going to, just going to go, I'm going to go down and get the Christmas tree. Cause mommy said that we should decorate the Christmas tree. And she opens up the basement door and starts going down the stairs and you hear. Be right back up kids. Kids. Kids! And they're all there, like staring blankly, and their eyes don't seem to. They're all just like uh-huh. lit up eyes yeah. at the very bottom. And Santa is just. Staircase. It's like a. It's like a plastic lawn ornament Santa mm-hmm. that's over in the corner. Move. Yeah, and he's just like all of a sudden lights up. 
<laughs> Mrs. Claus is just covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas from the Glenn Beck Program. This is the Glenn Beck Program.